going on there, YouTube? Zonk the cat here. What's going on to all my kittens? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Alright, so what I want to discuss today is gun community. We seriously need to get together, y'all. Uh, you know, NRA, whatever I've said about the NRA before is, you know, just. You just got to deal with it. The NRA is, well, it's the NRA. They're not really going to be changing their tune anytime soon. So, you know, we just got to have to deal with stuff ourselves. And how are we going to do that? Well, we need to get our, you know, get our shit together. Because they're coming. You know... While people are talking about the crazy ass Ocasio Cortez and so on and so forth, the uh, anti gunners, Diane Feinstein, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders not so much, but I mean he you know he's a cr he's a crazy ass socialist, so self proclaimed socialist as of right this point, because he's running on a socialist. Uh, platform for uh, president so what's gonna end up happening you see I come from a socialist nation I may not remember much of it but I do remember a lot and a socialist nation is bad just all bad all the time and you're not going it's not going to get any better say these people get into office now what's going to happen if these people get into office well good Kiss goodbye to all your guns. That's number one. Don't don't even think that you're going to be able to keep them because you're not. You're, you're going to lose everything. You're going to lose everything you have. Why? Why are we going to lose... Why would you lose everything you've got? Well, because socialism believes in nothing but control. 100% control. And if you look at the Green New Deal and you look at it completely and totally. The Green New Deal basically outlines a complete and total takeover of your rights. Complete. I mean, you have no rights. They want to re redo the Constitution. And in order for them to do that, they need complete control of the Senate and the House and the presidency. Something they wanted to do under Obama, but they couldn't because Obama wouldn't let them. And say whatever you want about Obama, but he was a good president. He, you may not have agreed with his polit politics, you may not have agreed with some of his, uh, with some of his laws, but he would have never allowed the Democrat or the Republicans to rewrite the United States Constitution as it sat. I personally believe he never would have. Whether you believe it or not, that's not a that's not for me to decide, nor me to argue with you. That's my personal opinion. Oops, missed. So, I mean, what can you what can you take from this? It means socialism, regardless of how you look at it, is a bad deal. It really is a bad deal. Complete takeover and rewriting of our constitution is a bad deal. Because once you lose it, guess what? You ain't never going to get it back. I mean, for real, you're never going to get it back. You will never get your freedom of speech back, your right to um, <clears throat> your right to a jury of your peers, you know, right to a speedy trial, you know, unjust punishment, you know, shit like that. And especially freedom of speech and your freedom of religion and your free freedom and the right to bear arms. These are things you will never ever see again. 
why will you never see these things ever again? Because of the number one fact is, is that socialism is based loosely on communism. It was written by Karl Marx, a Marxist, hence the name Marxist, but it was written by him. Who else was a socialist besides Karl Marx? Where did uh, Hitler, Stalin, uh, Lenin, uh, Chairman Mao, Pol Pot, and all of them got, get their funky, messed up ideas from? They got it from Karl Marx and Marxism, and just generally, um, socialism came that as a factor. So, where are you, what else are you going to get out of this? you're going to get an entire system based off of uh, socialistic ideas. And that is not good. You don't want socialism in this country. Socialism in this country would be idealistic suicide, basically. You would have legions of people, legions of them, opposing all those ideals. And I'm not just talking about your average citizen. I'm talking about legions of people. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands, millions of people opposing socialism in this country. And not just the old people, not the baby boomers. I'm talking about young people too, because young people are waking up to the fact that socialism sucks. It really sucks. It bankrupts every fucking, every uh, country it's introduced to. It bankrupts them. It turns their citizens into nothing but slaves. You think, you know, you think uh, Venezuela's bad. I mean, just, just think about a President Ocasio-Cortez. And then you have the start of what socialism will look like. It is bad. It's not just bad, bad. It is exceptionally bad. I mean, it's, it's, oh. just, just to think about the implications of that. Imagine if this little pipsqueak was president of the United States. I mean, she can't be president right now. She's not old enough. And yes, there is a term, well, there is a uh, age uh, limitation on how, uh, how old somebody can, to, can be to run for president. And I believe it's 35 years old. You have to be 35 or above to run for president. But just think if this little pipsqueak reaches, you know, 36 years old and her ideals are even stronger then than they are now. Imagine how off she's going to be. I mean, there's... There's, there's messed up to the point where it can just be damn right evil. Now, Hitler rose to power on socialism promising, you know, that the, that the country of Germany would prosper under his regime. What people didn't realize was, is such a fr utter and total lunatic, complete and total lunatic Hitler was, or is at that time. Nobody realized that. Nobody realized how much of a freaking nutcase Hitler was. So you have a person who has, you know, complete control over an entire citizenry, over an entire government, and he's a complete and total loony. And 
tries to take over everything and everybody. So, you know, it's really hard to understand for anybody who has not experienced socialism to, you know, really grasp the idea of how evil it can be. I mean, it can be just disgusting and nobody quite realizes this point until you know you're faced with it so it's better off to make sure that socialism never ever grass hold So, we as a gun community, we are all patriots. We want our guns, we want to keep our guns. If we want to keep our guns, we have to fight. And I'm not saying we should grab our guns and, you know, head to the, uh, head to, head, head anywhere and start protesting with our guns. No, that's not a good idea. But we have to unite. Yeah, figure how many guns were sold in the United States in 2017 and in 2018. All of us are gun enthusiasts. We're not nuts. We're just enthusiastic. So we have to think to ourselves, are we just going to stand there and let people take our guns, take our rights? No, we're not. We're going to fight. So we need to get together. NRA, GBA, we all need to put our differences aside, put our histories aside, and come together and fight these gets. Because while, pe while the me mass media is paying attention to somebody who did a fate, fake hate crime, also, somebody who did, uh, you know, who is, you know, doing the fake, uh, the Green New Deal crap. Uh, people like Diane Feinstein, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, book, uh, 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 what's his name, Cory Booker, Mr. Spartacus. <clears throat> They're all planning. They're all dishing out these bills. There are several bills heading towards the House, heading towards the Senate, that are stripping us of our gun rights. Y'all don't realize this. While all this shit's going on in the media and nobody's really paying attention to it, guess what? They're trying to pass this crap. Diane Feinstein couldn't give two shits about the uh, uh, Ocasio-Cortez. For her, it's just a diversion. So nobody pays attention to what she's doing. So while everybody else is paying attention to this, all this crap that's going on, guess what? She's sitting behind the scenes, taking care of the business that she wants to take care of. And that's gun control. And guess what? It will pass the house. They have the House. The Democrats control the House. So if the Democrats control the House, they're going to pass that legislation. And make no mistake, it will go to the Senate. And there are some rhinos in there that ro rode to, uh, to Congress on a, on, a, on a Second Amendment basis. But guess what? They are not Republicans. They are not in defense of the Second Amendment. They don't care. All they wanted to do was get in office so they could get the paycheck, so they could get the uh, the networking. And to get the networking, all they needed to do was basically get in, get in. Once they get in, they get they get all the the, the networking, they get all the the 
all the uh, things that come along with that. You know, and they don't give two shits about the Second Amendment community. They really don't because they've got what they wanted. <clears throat> so we need to contact our representatives. We need to con contact our senators, especially Mitch McConnell, that any anti-Second Amendment legislation that comes across his desk, he is not to sign it at all. He is to, f or he is not even to introduce it, in, introduce it into the Senate whatsoever. So that way, you know, we can keep ourselves protected from it. Or if he does have it open for a vote, fine. If he wants it open for a vote, open it up, no problem. Just make sure that every single Republican is on the page. <clears throat> So, like I said, we all need to un unite because it's going to come to a point where we're not going to have our rights anymore because we're going to let these Second Amendment, anti-Second Amendment people get away with basically destroying our whole way of life, our freedoms. And if you're okay with that, then you're not American. Sorry. And anybody who says, I'm not American, that's fine. I'm not. I wasn't born in this country. But I am an American citizen. But if you don't believe in America, I believe in America. I believe in the United States. I believe in our Constitution. But if you don't, and you are an American citizen, you need to seriously take a deep look inside. Because if you don't believe wholeheartedly in Constitution, get the freaking out of this country. Leave it to the people who actually believe in the country. Believe in our Constitution. The way it was written and amended. If you don't believe in it, get out. You don't like what you see? Try Venezuela. They'd love to have you. I'm sure they would love to see you, you know, in their country. And trust me, once you step foot off that plane and you finally figure out what socialism is all about, you're going to want back into the U.S. in the worst way. But, like I said, we have to unite, we have to put our differences aside, and we need to seriously, seriously fight every single piece of anti-gun legislation. Whether you agree with it or not, I take a no-compromise approach to the Second Amendment. I don't, I may, I may not use particular things that are and part of these anti-Second Amendment legislations. I may not agree with them, some of them. I may not agree with <clears throat> the overall uh, outward look of some of these uh, guns that are coming out. I may not like them. I may not like bump stocks. I may not like Desert Eagles doesn't mean I can't tell somebody else who wants one that they can't have it. Like I said, no compromise. But we all need to come together and fight this crap because they give them an inch and they'll take a mile. The NRA supported the red flag bills. The NRA supported the uh, bump stock ban. Guess what, NRA? It's time for you to put your bullshit FUD crap aside and join with the rest of the gun community and fight this bullshit. Because, guess what? After they get rid of semi-automatics, they're coming for your six-shooters. They're coming for your bolt actions. They're coming for every damn thing that you have. 
until you're left with nothing but air, air rifles, air pistols, and guess what? They're coming for them, too. Because it looks like guns. That's a part of socialism. Social justice. If it looks like a gun, well, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, guess what? You're a fucking duck. And they will take your air pistols, your knives, anything that can cause damage or harm, they will fight about it. So, if you think that, you know, oh, my bolt action's safe, my six shooter's safe, bullshit. They're not safe. Nowhere's close. Why? Because once they get rid of semi-automatics, they've already taken that inch. High cap magazines, semi-automatics, uh, Glock pistols, Desert Eagles, all these other guns and whatnot. Once they've taken those, they're coming for your bolt actions. They're coming for your six shooters. They're coming for your uh, skeet guns. So if you think you're safe, you're either dumb or you're a look or you don't know what they're doing very well. So we all need to u unite under one banner and need to fight this crap as one. There's going to be more videos coming up, so uh, hit the like, subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm lonely out here. It's only me. Have a good one, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Love y'all.